this might not come out right. But it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice. And I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. I like that we're childhood friends. Thank you. I never expected you to be so odd, Yuito. Huh? Really? I thought I was pretty normal. What is normal in the OSF is not what most people call normal. It's very intriguing. starting to understand you a little better. Really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. been thinking about this too much. My brain is going numb. I should get some rest. Yuito, wake up! Wachiru is on the line. <sighs> Sorry. I only meant to take a little break, but it looks like I fell asleep. So, Wataru, What's up? Is the fact that we snuck into the old OSF hospital going to be an issue? No. Major General Fubuki was able to take care of that for us, so that's not a problem anymore. It might not be a big deal, but I thought I should let you know about the hole in Kunat Highway. Now that you mention it, there was something strange in the sky above Kunat Highway. I guess you could call it a hole. So much happened after that, I'd forgotten about it. So what was it? The government is calling it the Kunat Gate. A survey team took a look, but aside from the extremely localized gravitational anomaly, they don't know anything about it. It's just that it has similar characteristics to a black hole, so that area has been deemed off-limits. Kunat Gate. Nothing could be seen on the other side. It was... unsettling. You might not go there, but I figured it's better to know about it than not. That's true. Thanks for telling me about it. If you learn anything more, please let me know. As you wish. Oh, I almost forgot. Yuito Platoon's next orders are to stay on standby. So you can hang around the hideout a little while longer. Really? Then I think we should do just that. Yes, that is a good idea. Knowing Fubuki, I'm sure he arranged all of this. So I think it's best to comply. Mind if I come in? Major General Fubuki, how did you find this place? I told him. 
I thought it would be safer to talk here in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started... monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog. But I don't have to be a dog anymore, now that Karin's gone. What do you mean? Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The Top Brass has been targeting him for elimination or personality rehabilitation for some time now. That's why I took on the role of being the government's puppet, directing the OSF in Karin's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. Besides, even if I told him, he'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Ceyron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this, and free this country from its corrupt system. Karin joined forces with Ceyron, and rebelled against the state to do the same. However, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. We should be able to find out what the government is hiding through the city computer Arahabaki. Please, let me help you. I want to know what my father has done, and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command! I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Gemma! Either way, my time with the OSF is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi, and why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. I had no idea. If Yuito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. Fine. I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue you an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard OSF deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi to a different platoon. What? Oh. Okay, get to it then. Yuito, I'll stay in the platoon as the operator. I feel the same as you and Gemma. I'll help you stop the government from doing whatever they want. Thanks, Wataru.
There's a chance that Sauron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late father? I'm... staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible. And if the government had something to do with it, then I won't let them get away with it. Hold on. Incoming others from the front. Hanabi, Sugumi, we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the other. Yeah, you're right. Another one. Next. <laughs> Now die! You should be able to break the outer shell if you keep attacking. Shell breach confirmed. Put the pressure on. Found the weak spot. Yeah. Hey. We're on. One more. I found it. Are there any more others? I'm not reading any. Mm. Yuito, are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki, and then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others, so we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging, and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yuito, I was listening, so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion, like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Are you really okay? A snake boat. Ginger. Huh? What? Flax pig. Table slug? What? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Apple home child! I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. Well, what can we do? We have the medication the hospital provided. But that ampule seems fishy. It looks exactly like the ampules we found at the abandoned subway. Everyone, be careful. You have an other closing in on you. His timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two!
This isn't good. I can't use my power at all. I won't even be able to fight. What can we do? Is there some way to cure him? Do I... drink it? Yuito! No time to be squeamish. That other's gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to! Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh, the abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. Yuito, I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's take them out. I can move. It doesn't hurt as much. I can do this. picking up any abnormalities on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? I feel fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after all. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? Shouldn't we go back to the hideout and rest a little bit? I'm fine. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise. something rare. Use them in battle. They might come in handy if Yuito used them at the right time. 
So that's not quite using them for their intended purpose, I guess. Yeah. This is Rain Dragon. Here we go! One more! 
It's down! Give it everything you've got! Thing up ahead. The extinction belt is thick above that area, so I can't detect anything from my end. Any other information? I think they're trucks. Two of them. They're moving towards Ceyron? Hmm? What is it? Um, I thought I just saw something inside the truck bed. Although, it was probably my imagination. Okay, I managed to tap into a nearby surveillance camera feed. Those are OSF transport vehicles. Enemy or ally? Yuito Platoon is the only OSF team deployed near Mizuhagawa. Then I guess that means they're Seiron's OSF team. <gasps> I see two individuals heading towards us. It looks like Kagura and Kyoka. Of course, they're invisible. Be careful. I'm not picking them up at all. All right. Right. Here they come. Right. Take that. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I wonder why Kyoka and Kagura attacked us. I thought that Kasane was the one after Yuito. Is it because they're on Kasane's side? Or some other reason? Regardless, please be careful. I'll take care of it. Even if you are invisible, my clairvoyance can see you. Your power is the absolute worst to go against. I wonder if that's why we're such good friends. If you really think that, then retreat. I don't want to do this. That was close. Now my old trusted commander is my enemy. Yes, you were a good soldier. I just wanted to end up like this. Yeah, it's too bad. They're stronger than anticipated. Let's go. We did what we needed to. Were Kyoka and Kagero guarding this area? Could it have to do with the transport vehicle? They were clearly stalling for time. I'll try to follow them. Sugumi, could you send me their tracking data? I can't. There are so many Kagero's and Kyoka's. They're all going in different directions. That's Kyoka's duplication power. They're attempting to confuse us. 
I'm sorry. It's going to take time to identify the real pair. I also lost sight of the transport vehicles. I hate losing. It was a diversion to hide the transport vehicle's destination from Sugumi. Which direction were the vehicles going the last time you saw them? I think towards Seiron. They must have been carrying something important if they made sure we didn't follow. We might be able to find out some key information. Give me some time. I'll see what I can find out with Tsugumi's information. Yuito, there's a place I want to check out, but it's in a different direction from Seiron. It looks like the duplicates are all avoiding this area. I can't be sure, but it seems suspicious. Nice catch, Wataru. Okay, we'll go check it out. What is this place? There's nobody here. Hey! I see the transport vehicles. Then this must be it. We're pretty far from the city. Do you think this is still Seiron's facility? I can't seem to find any information on it at all, which only makes it more suspicious. Looks like they haven't noticed us yet. But I do feel a strange presence here. I can't really put it into words either. I will go check the vehicle. Sugumi, Wataru, please cover me. Hey, Yuito. Are you remembering things okay? What about your speech? Any headaches? I'm okay for now. No need to worry so much. You are making sense. It's natural for her to feel worried. Don't push yourself too hard. You've always had health problems, ever since you were little. That's right. You did mention that before. Yeah. I spent most of my early childhood inside a hospital. They finally let me leave when I was around five, and I've been fine ever since. Wait, Luca found something quite alarming. What do you mean? I know what the transport vehicles are carrying. Human heads! That can't be! The transport vehicle was filled with these. No, I thought I was just seeing things, but they're really... One of the trucks was already empty, but I believe it was carrying the same thing. Two trucks worth of human heads? What in the hell for? Let's try sneaking in a little further. Kasane and her team might be here. Okay. We need to find out why they're doing this anyway. It won't open. I guess sneaking in is going to be harder than I thought. I can't use my clairvoyance on any of these doors. Hmm. Who are... Hmm. 
Forgive the rough treatment. Don't worry, we only knocked him out. He won't be waking up for a while. Wow, all three of you were amazing. Thanks, I couldn't even move. I'm glad I have people like you who can make such quick decisions. Hold on, this might be a key card for the door. Nice find, Sugumi. We shouldn't have a problem getting in now. This puts us in enemy territory. I need to be ready for anything. Okay, let's try this door. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. by another. Huh. <laughs> 
need your help. Go, Yuito.
Now die! Come on! Who's a good attack? Leave it to me! It's over! That was brilliant! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
on this facility, but a long time ago there was a plan to develop an academic city nearby. It looks like an art museum was already built, so maybe they're using that. Come on. Here we go! I'm using this, Sugumi! You're at ease using SAS. I can hit it! It's over! <laughs> 